reading from the Catechism of the Catholic Church, 2nd edition, chapter 1, I Believe in God the Father, 198. Our profession of faith begins with God, for God is the first and the last. See Isaiah 44, 6. The beginning and the end of everything. The credo begins with God the Father. For the Father is the first divine person of the Most Holy Trinity. Our creed begins with the creation of heaven and earth. The creation is the beginning and the foundation of all God's works. Article 1. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. Paragraph 1. I believe in God. 199. I believe in God. The first affirmation of the Apostles' Creed is also the most fundamental. The whole creed speaks of God and when it also speaks of man and of the world, it does so in relation to God. The other articles of the creed all depend on the first just as the remaining commandments make the first explicit. The other articles help us to know God better as he revealed himself progressively to men. The faithful first profess their belief in God. 1. I believe in one God. Paragraph 200. These are the words with which the Niceno-Constantinopolitan Creed begins, the confession of God's oneness, which has its roots in the divine revelation of the Old Covenant, is inseparable from the profession of God's existence and is equally fundamental. God is unique. There is only one God. The Christian faith confesses that God is one in nature, substance, and essence. 201. To Israel, his chosen, God revealed himself as the only one. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord, and you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul, and with all your might. Deuteronomy 6, 4 through 5. Through the prophets, God calls Israel and all nations to turn to him, the one and only God. Turn to me and be saved, all the ends of the earth, for I am God, and there is no other to me every knee shall bow, every tongue shall swear. Only in the Lord it shall be said of me, our righteousness and strength. See Isaiah forty five twenty two through twenty four and Philippians two ten through eleven. two oh two Jesus himself affirms that God is the one Lord whom you must love with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. See Matthew twelve twenty nine through 30. At the same time, Jesus gives us to understand that he himself is the Lord. See Mark twelve thirty five through 37. To confess that Jesus is Lord is distinctive of Christian faith. This is not contrary to belief in the one God, nor does believing in the Holy Spirit as Lord and giver of life introduce any division into the one God. We firmly believe and confess without reservation that there is only one true God, eternal, infinite, immensus, 
and unchangeable, incomprehensible, almighty, and ineffable. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, three persons indeed, but one essence, substance, or nature entirely simple. Two, God reveals his name. 203. God revealed himself to his people, Israel, by making his name known to them. A name expresses a person's essence and identity and the meaning of this person's life. God has a name. He is not an anonymous force. To disclose one's name is to make oneself known to others. In a way, it is to hand oneself over by becoming accessible, capable of being known more intimately and addressed personally. 204. God revealed himself progressively and under different names to his people. But the revelation that proved to be the fundamental one for both the Old and the New Covenant was the revelation of the divine name to Moshe in the theophany of the burning bush on the threshold of the Exodus and of the covenant on Sinai. The Living God, 205. God calls Moshe from the midst of the bush that burns without being consumed. I am the God of your father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. See Exodus 3, 6. God is the God of the fathers, the one who has called and guided the patriarchs, in their wanderings. He is the faithful and compassionate God who remembers them and his promises. He comes to free their descendants from slavery. He is the God who, from beyond space and time, can do this and wills to do it. The God who will put his almighty power to work for this plan. I am who I am. Moshe said to God, If I come to the people of Israel and say to them, The God of your fathers has sent me to you. And they ask me, What is his name? What shall I say to them? God said to Moshe, I am who I am. And he said, Say this to the people of Israel. I am has sent me to you. This is my name forever, and thus I am to be remembered throughout all generations. Exodus three thirteen through 15 206 In revealing his mysterious name, Yahweh, I am he who is, I am who am, or I am who I am. God says who he is and by what name he is to be called. This divine name is mysterious just as God is mystery. It is at once a name revealed and something like the refusal of a name, and hence it better expresses God as what he is, infinitely above everything that we can understand or say. He is the hidden God. His name is ineffable, and he is the God who makes himself close to men. Isaiah forty five fifteen, Judges thirteen eighteen. Two zero seven. By revealing his name, God at the same time reveals his faithfulness, which is from everlasting to everlasting, valid 
for the past. I am the God of your fathers. As for the future, I will be with you. Exodus 3, 6, and 12. God, who reveals his name as I am, reveals himself as the God who is always there, present to his people in order to save them. 208. Faced with God's fascinating and mysterious presence, man discovers his own insignificance. Before the burning bush, Moshe takes off his sandals and veils his face in the presence of God's holiness. Exodus 3, 5 through 6. Before the glory of the thrice holy God, Esaiah cries out, Woe is me, I am lost, for I am a man of unclean lips. See Isaiah 6, 5. Before the divine signs wrought by Jesus, Peter exclaims, Depart from me, for I am a sinful man, O Lord. Luke 5, 8. But because God is holy, he can forgive the man who realizes that he is a sinner before him. I will not execute my fierce anger. For I am God and not man, the Holy One in your midst. Hosea 11, 9. The Apostle John says likewise, We shall reassure our hearts before him whenever our hearts condemn us. For God is greater than our hearts and he knows everything. 1 John 3, 19-20 209 Out of respect for the holiness of God, the people of Israel do not pronounce his name. In the reading of sacred scripture, the revealed name Yahweh is replaced by the divine title Lord. In Hebrew, Adonai. In Greek, Kyrios. It is under this title that the divinity of Jesus will be acclaimed. Jesus is Lord.